Today I will be recapping the animation movie called, Rumble. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. Since thousands of years, monsters have risen from the earth and battled each other, and all of humankind normally watch it for their entertainment. A town called, Stoker has been a place for monster wrestling, and their hometown heroes were the champion Rayburn, and his coach, Jimbo Coyle. But unfortunately, Rayburn and Jimbo died at the sea, which left Stoker without their heroes. Back in the present day, Stoker arranges a stadium where the wrestling activities takes place, and now their new champion is a shark monster called Tentacular, who is being coached by Jimbo's student called, Siggy Martin. Almost the entire people in the city are closing their shops, and abandoning what they are doing to watch their hero Tentacular, to fight against the giant bulldog monster known as, King Gorge. Jimbo has a daughter called Winnie, who is a major monster wrestling fan and really wants to be a monster wrestling coach just like her dad. The match finally commerces. And Tentacular is getting the beaten of his life by King Gorge. After a long fight, Winnie notices that Gorge has a secret whenever he's fighting. She then hurries to the wrestling ground and then gives Tentacular the tip. That he licks his lips before going in for a hit. Tentacular notices and uses the tip Winnie gave him to his advantage. By doing so, Tentacular is able to subdue him by giving him a very powerful smackdown. This makes him to remain champion of Stoker, which really excited everybody. After the whole celebration, he announces to everyone that he is leaving for a different town, because he got a better offer there. Which means, they no longer have a hometown hero. The people in Stoker town gathers for a meeting. The mayor of that town brings in a councilwoman to explain to the townspeople that if they don't have a champion monster, they cannot have wrestling tournaments. Which means, they can't keep the stadium since it will be losing them money. A wealthy man known as Jimothy Brett Chadley wants to destroy the stadium and change it to a car park. Everyone seems to be giving up, including Winnie's mom called, Maggie. Only Winnie who's still motivated, trying to figure out a way of finding a new champion or the stadium will be demolished in days. Maggie tells Winnie not to go through all those trouble. But instead, Winnie travels to a town called Pittsmore, where they lost their monster champion and hold illegal monster fights in an abandoned warehouse. Immediately, Winnie started to convince different kind skilled monsters wrestlers to join her. But they just ended up laughing at her instead. Later on, Winnie sees Steve, who happens to be Rayburn's son in which she remembers from when she and Steve were kids. He is also involved in the underground wrestling matches, where he has to keep loosing every night he fights. Winnie keeps trying to get his attention, but she isn't aware that Steve is meant to lose the match to Clonk, or else their boss, Lady Mayhem, will be disappointed. Winnie frustrates Steve into begging him to be their champion which makes Steve to mistakenly knock Clonk out, which loses Lady Mayhem all her money for the night. She orders Steve to find a way to pay up her money immediately, or suffer worse consequences. Due to this, Steve has run away from her threats by joining Winnie to return to Stoker as their champion. Winnie then begins to train Steve as fast as possible. As they enter the gym, Steve started to have memories of his dad discouraging his love for dance over wrestling. He then disagrees to do any real training until he gets a match. Winnie later takes him to a merchant ship residence where monster fights are also held. Immediately, a monster called, Ramarilla challenges Steve in a wrestling fight. When Steve sees him, he gets really scared seeing how huge he really is. But as Winnie tells him that in here the winner takes all the money and he won't get a cent if he loses, Steve then attempts to put in some effort into fighting the angry monster. According Winnie's instructions, he runs around the ring until he is able to get Ramarilla really tried, making Steve to win the match. But many popular sports commentators like Mark Remy and Lights Out McNulty sees the match to be one of the worst ever due to how lame it was. Winnie continues to put Try and Steve through seriously physical training, but doesn't go as expected as Steve knows he can never be like his dad, and that's the reason he left Stoker in the first place. Winnie soon discovers that Steve has a passion for dancing, she then tries an idea of turning his dancing moves into his fighting skills. Later on, they started getting into different matches, where Steve is able to defeat every monster by using his dance skills. He is able to win so many matches with his different fighting method which makes a lot of wrestling fans to start to notice and like him. Winnie tries to set up a match for Steve to fight King Gorge, only for her to find out that the mayor and councilwoman are getting prepared to sign over the stadium to Jimothy. It is then revealed that Tentacular was the one that planned on the buying off the stadium because, he believes that people has always seen him as the second best because of the legend Rayburn. So he believes by destroying the stadium, it means Rayburn legacies will be destroyed and people will get to forget about him. Unfortunately, Steve returns to Pittsmore and returns the money he owes Lady Mayhem prepared to return to back to his unfulfilling job. 
but when Steve opened his locker just to say pictures of himself and his father having a good time together, he quickly returns to Stoker to find Winnie. He takes Winnie to the stadium where a huge crowd has gathered to watch Tentacular blow the stadium off. But just before that happens, Steve immediately removes the explosive cables and appears before the crowd, to reveal himself as Rayburn Jr. The son of the legend Rayburn. To the fans' excitement, he challenges the champion Tentacular to a fight in order to save the stadium. News started to spread around the world that after all these years, the legend Rayburn has a son, and is challenging the jerk champion into a fight. Even Steve former boss Lady Mayhem, and the other monsters are all amazed at Steve's true identity to be legend's son, Rayburn Jr. In other to avoid shame, Tentacular agrees to the fight. Immediately, Winnie goes back to training Steve, and a lot of people now are in support of him. Thereafter, the fight everyone has been waiting finally arrives. Steve is called into the ring and everyone in the stadium is really so happy to see him and cheers for him. Immediately, the champion Tentacular is called out too. Steve gets afraid and isn't sure if he can live up to his father's legacy, but Winnie gives him a really inspiring coach speech to get him prepared for the fight. The fight then finally starts. In the first round, Steve dodges every Tentacular's attacks with his dancing moves, making Tentacular really mad. In the second round, Tentacular after getting a tip from his coach, he is able to grab Steve as he started to counters his dance moves. And even easily beats him off without making any much effort. After that round, Tentacular coach known as Siggy attempts to make Winnie to throw in the towel because, Tentacular would obviously easily destroy Steve. She thought of it for a while and almost agrees to it, not wanting to see him get hurt. But Steve meets her and tells her not to give up but instead, they just need a new strategy. The whole fans are so excited that Steve doesn't give up and wants to fight. This time, Tentacular is ready to finish him off. In the third round, the both of them comes towards each other in speed and Rayburn for the first time knocks down Tentacular to the ground, which surprise everyone. Steve's strategy is to be dancing to Tentacular annoyance and other to strike him. After a long fight, Steve gives it his all and manages to pull off a high enough jump to come down on Tentacular, but they ends up knocking each other out. Both of them appear to be on the ground, but Tentacular is able to get up. And if Steve is not able to get up before the referee counts reaches 10, Tentacular will win the match. Everyone starts to call on Steve's name in other to motivate him to get up. Steve manages to get up and is able to rotate Tentacular round the ring, and finally gives him his smackdown. Steve is now announced as the new champion. While Tentacular is taken away in shame. Tentacular coach still congratulates Winnie and sees her as being as great a coach just like her dad was. The whole crowd goes really crazy, as Steve is now the new champion of Stoker. The stadium is saved, and everyone celebrates with a dance party.